If you ever had any doubt about the leadership in the state, look behind me to my left and right. Uh, we are blessed and I'm enlivened uh, by that leadership and I am uh, grateful. Finally sending the message that our bodies are not a luxury, that being born with the uterus, that having a period every month is not something that's a luxury and it's also not something to be ashamed about. Discussion hasn't been in vain. I've heard from young girls who tell me that they use socks and newspapers or that they miss school. I hear from women who tell me they just don't go to work when they can't afford these products or they let their products in their bodies longer than they should and they end up sick out there. And so getting rid of the tax makes it more affordable, but it also tells all women out there that our bodies are just as important as men's bodies out there. All the advocates who have been beating the drum for the last four years, who started here in California with the first bill, and while we fell behind in a dozen states have beat us to the punch, haven't stopped, and because of them, this has become an international discussion. Budgets are a statement of our values. Well, this budget shows that in California, we value our children and our parents. And we also value our women. Couldn't be prouder to say that in California, we are fighting for a future where our daughters will be valued equally to our sons. Our bodies matter, that our biology matters, uh, and our budget now reflects that. And for the first time, we're gonna have a gender neutral tax code.